Hi, I'm Cindy Cook. I'm a resident of East Avenue. I'm here today with a couple of neighbors who share concerns about the safety, both of the sidewalks and the street. I'm uh, Cyril Flash, also off of uh, East Avenue, um, East Village Drive. Um, major concerns about s safety, again, as Cindy said, for both the sidewalk and the roadway. I'm Dave Cauley. I live around the corner on Nash Place, but part of this neighborhood. I've worked on a few of the uh, uh, traffic studies that have been done in the neighborhood. I'm also an uh, avid bicyclist, so I use this area quite often. And uh, like Cindy and Sarah, I, I'm been concerned about uh, the level of traffic, safety, and access for pedestrians. So the, the residents of East Ave have a few uh, significant concerns about safety here. Uh, it's a very tight-knit community, a lot of uh, traffic, both with cars, bicycles, and pedestrians. And uh, we see people tripping and falling on the sidewalk because of heaving of the sidewalk on a daily basis. Uh, there's significant ponding, and then the, pond, uh, the uh, ponds freeze over so that it's just not safe to walk on the sidewalks. Uh, take a look at where you're standing. Yeah, so I don't know if you can zoom in on that. Um, that's, that's a minor compared to a lot of the right trip and fall. This goes for, Dave and I counted uh, several sections of roughly 20 squares in each that needed to be replaced between here and Kerrigan Drive. And of course, we, we need good sidewalks just to keep people safe and to encourage uh, bike pet traffic. So turning to the roadway, this roadway is a major arterial as is the sidewalk. And we very much want the, the traffic to be calmed and to slow down. Um, but we also want to make sure that work that's done now doesn't preclude future work. We'd also like to see some consideration for what happens at the cross between uh, University Road across East Avenue where all the medical students go, or medical employees go to get up to the medical center. Lots and lots of people park down there by uh, the uh, Centennial Field and they have to cross that uh, uh, crossing area and it's, it's inadequate for that level of uh, traffic volume. The city and sidewalks, the city the city over the last few years have been trying to get out more with their sidewalk improvement programs, and they've done a lot around the city. In fact, they've done some on this street as well. But they also came up with a methodology by which they evaluate streets. And, you know, on this street uh, and all streets, they take a look at all these different characteristics of the sidewalk. Are they bowing? Do they have gaps? Are they broken? Uh, is ponding taking place? And, uh, and they take a look at that and also the amount of traffic that, that goes on the street, um, uh, uh, pedestrians using those sidewalks. And from that, they come up with a score. And so those scores, the highest scores, are where they focus their, their uh, activities. And one of the things we did, we, we found out that this street got a lower score in this most recent ranking. We're not quite sure why that is because we did our own survey of the street and we found over 18 areas that need to get, you know, to meet the criteria. So uh, that's something we're trying to get through, uh, with uh, the department is to figure out uh, how they can get out here to make some of those improvements. So my name's Cyril Flash. Um, I, a number of years ago, petitioned or took a survey to every house on East Avenue asking them their thoughts on traffic calming. And we had very close, to, essentially 100% agreement. Everybody that I was able to talk to here, which is probably about 97% of every structure on East Avenue, they all were comfortable and interested in traffic calming. Um, so for people that aren't aware, there is a lot of, a lot of foot traffic on this street. Um, starting down at the south end, there's the Centennial Court area, which is UVM staff. There's uh, UVM Library, Police Services. From this, on the uh, west side of the street, UVM has uh, housing for its nurses. On the east side, we've got uh, Burlington Co-Housing, a good number of people. But the Centennial Court for UVM staff, I'm guessing at least over 100 people. We've got about 100 people at a little bit less at co-housing. Um, as you go further north on the street, there's this major crosswalk at Villadu that goes up to the medical center. And as Cindy referenced earlier, there's people coming up from parking down by Centennial Ball Field. 
so there's a lot of pedestrian pedestrian traffic for the medical center and the university number one um, so yeah there's a lot of interest for the people that live here on getting the speed for the uh, east avenue where it needs to be the traffic speed is supposed to be 25 miles an hour it's closer to 35 and 40 miles an hour the, the police have agreed with that they see it as our dpw sees the traffic and the pe most people are comfortable going 33 miles an hour i'm also an avid bicyclist so i i bicycle on this road regularly um it happens that if you if somebody gets hit and the speed is over 25 miles an hour one's going to suffer major injuries so there's lots of reasons for keeping it to 25 miles an hour or below um so when dpw came forward with their current plan which is based on consultants that they hired honestly i'm quite excited about what they came up with it's something called chicanes um, it may be that cindy and i and dave have minor differences on strategy i think honestly i'm close to 100 percent in agreement with everything that cindy has said and pointed out um, there, i have honestly strategy wise a little bit less concern about how dpw has interfaced with the community um, i feel like they listen they work hard to listen most all the time so i'm personally ready to jump on with what they proposed months ago um, and i understand that removing parking about 17 spaces would be a concern for some people i've actually had people approach me on billadu where they actually want parking removed because of a line of sight issue that's anybody turning south when coming out of billadu or east village drive it's very hard to see when the cars are whizzing by so quickly the advantage of the chicane where they it's it's kind of a zigzag where cars will no longer be going straight but they get turned into the side to where they're currently is parking um, it's supposed to reduce the speed by six to nine miles an hour that's the basis of my excitement because i know that from all the traffic studies and traffic experts speed is the number one issue and we've got to reduce the speed so i'm so grateful that dpw and their consultants recognize that and are willing to work on it so personally i'm very excited about the the present plan i'm honestly saddened that it's being slowed down by essentially the necessary neighborhood speaking up saying hey have you considered this have you considered that so everything's a balance I'm, I'm hoping that we can hop on to dpw in terms of listening to what the community wants and also moving forward with the plan that from what i can see the consultants did a great job on in analyzing the situation and coming up with a remedy to deal with a major traffic issue here which is the speed on the street i want to come across as too critical of dpw because i know they have a very difficult job to do and there are a lot of limited resources and there's a lot to do um, they they did respond to our traffic plan we just think that that plan ought to be addressed with the, the experience and the understanding of the area that we residents have to bring to it um, and uh, want to express uh, appreciation for dpw for installing a rapid uh, rapid flashing signal there at the top of the court is very very heavily used that's a, a major crossing for people going up to the to the university and out of the center and uh, i'm out here in my front yard a lot and it's it's uh, very common to see the uh, that flashing light going and to my mind it's more efficient than a stop sign because traffic doesn't have to stop if there's not a pedestrian there and pedestrians can Doing, yeah, doing, I know they're doing a lot uh, with limited resources.